Welcome to Hoop Pop Zip Pop Corn. Where you learn to market to the right people at the right time, the new way. Yes, I'm Shahar. And I'm Nash. And today, you know, we were going to talk about a statistic I read the other day. Yes, a very sad statistic. It's very sad. Only 1% of the American population reads more than one book a year. How bad is that? That's terrible. I mean, that's pretty amazing, Shahar. Yeah, it is. Especially if you're a business owner. You just cannot go by 365 days and read just one book. Come one, on! Yeah, and one book a year, and that doesn't necessarily mean that it's a self a self help book or that it's a, a book that's gonna be make you a better person. It could be just a fiction or something. Not that those are bad books, but as an entrepreneur, you need, like you always say, you need to continue to you need to learn and you need to seek that education by following people, by reading their books, by reading their material, by reading trade magazines and so forth. Exactly. You so. know, you need to know what the top leaders are talking about. You need to know what the people in your industry is talking about, the new tools out there, the way the market is, is behaving, the consumers are behaving right now. You need to be up to date to yes. about things in, in general. So you do need to read more than one book a year. So my, uh, my, my request here today is, you know, get a book to read, uh, you know, even if it's once a month, but do read, we do read more than that. We try to read two to four books a month at least and in different topics. Yes. Not, not only about our industry either because that, that's not the best approach. Sometimes the best ideas you can get in business comes from books and resources there to uh, targeting the other, some other industry. Different that, industries. Yeah, that doesn't have anything to do with yours. Yeah, I actually find that a lot. Sometimes I find inspiration off of other businesses that have absolutely nothing to do with my business. But you see what they're doing, you see how they're innovating, and somehow it just triggers and yeah. you get ideas for your business. So in case you don't know where to start and what book to choose, I recommend Tribes by Seth Godin. It's his latest book. It's an excellent book. Yeah, it's really just being like released, it. actually. Yes, it's barely. It's just a couple days ago that's when it released. Go get it. Uh, Seth Godin talks about people being tribes, especially with the internet and the power of these tools that are out there that um, you have a lot more possibilities to, to lead. And to, to lead people who, who, who belong to your tribe, who, who want to be a part of your tribe. Where, which means that you need to get your own tribe, you need to get your own herd, you need to get your own flock. Yes. People that will like what you have to say and will follow you. People who, have, who share your mission, people who, who share what you, what you want to do. Mm -hmm. So it's a very important book to read. It's a small, very easy read. Very easy read, yes. go get it. Tribes from Seth Godin. And today I have for you a case study. Like we said, we were going to uh, show some case studies. It's a company called eBags. eBags is an online company. They've been going on now for eight years, and they show an annual growth of 30%. So very, good. very good company. And pay attention to what they do to engage their customers. eBags.com. Let's check how this company achieves success online. They've been going on now for eight years and they show a 30% annual growth. It's a very good um, study here because if you think how do you engage customers when what they buy are luggages and purses. It's not that easy. You cannot just go and start a community because what is there to talk every single time and interact if it's all about luggages and, and bags? So let's see a few things they have here on the website that is interesting. Of course, it's a clean website, lots of pictures. Uh, they use videos really well. So if you click on this, you will see how the bags are made in some cases. In others, the, the uses you can give to bags. Some video testimonials, it's pretty interesting. If you click on an item here, it's going to show uh, the collection. And I want to show you one of the bags. Let's try this one. And you will see that one cool thing they do is show you different angles of pictures for the same item. So for example, here now, I'm going to see the inside of a purse, which is really important if you think. Uh, you want to see the space it has, if it has uh, inside pockets. It also shows on a mannequin, so I'll, I can see how it would look on me, see? 
So they show different angles of the product, which is very, very important because we cannot touch when we are buying online. And bags and luggage, it's the kind of thing we like to, to look inside and touch because after all, we are going to trust our things inside the bags or the or the luggage okay now what made ebags really stand out as a website is because they found a way to engage customers and help the customers leverage the work they they need to do here to bring more clients and how did they do that well they let the customers rate each item see so for example, 243 of 251, 97% customers said they would purchase this product again. So if I'm looking to buy something like this, this is a very good information. And they gave to this item the best of the best seal of approval. And here how they rate the durability, the, uh, the price value and everything and if you scroll down you will see that they allow you to share with your friends using delicious Facebook whatever is the the social bookmarking site that you decide to share the items and they let you see all the reviews about this item so here the customers are giving their point of view about the items and in this case it looks like they are all positive but also if they had a negative one would show so I can look what other customers are saying about the item I can see if they are frequent flyers or not frequent travelers or not what kind of occupation they have in life if they are female or male this is a great way to let customers do the work for you and build trust and credi credibility to your brand it's a way to engage them in what you do because they come they read the, the review here then they buy the item and they think okay why not I'm going to go there and give my review my point of view about that item and this is a great great way for a company to involve their customers and have the customers helping them bring more sales this is one of the cool cool things about ebags and of course the rating and everything and they also suggest items uh, like Amazon does see you may also like this item that item that item but the real strong point here are the reviews can you put something like that on your site can you find a way to engage your customers like ebags did that's a great case study you know I really like this case study because it, it, it uses such a simple tool like a way for the customers to review the bags and the luggage yes and that's enough to engage them and and keep all the things going it's their biggest asset yeah are the the consumers that buy their products and then they come back to to give a review about what they, they and you know bought. Shahar the thing about that is it's something simple but it's something uh, it's simple but it has allowed them to grow and yes. it has made such a huge impact in their business because sometimes too we think well you know in business we need to make something in order to be innovative or in order to be successful we need to really really think of something super like hard and difficult and creative and you think oh no I can't do it I, I just don't have it in me or even worse or even try worse. try to be everywhere try to be in try, social networks yeah you know try, try trying to be something that you really are that you can't that's not in your manpower to be all over the place mm -hmm. but then you come to realize that it's it's not that it's it's, it's just a matter of okay what, look at what they've done they've done something simple where people can leave reviews and that has had such a huge impact a huge in their impact, business yes and now they're they're tapping into the power of all those people who are leaving reviews uh -huh. and they can be they can reach more places yes. and uh, one thing I did like a lot on those reviews is that I can see the occupation of the people that leave the reviews which you know That's, it's even well, more engaging because yeah. I might read one and say oh well you know I don't no, identify with this yes, person she doesn't travel as much as I do yeah so, no and oh but this one this one I need to pay attention that's to. true that's true yeah oh yeah this person is a businesswoman like myself well she must know what yeah, exactly things it's like very that. very cool awesome. and very easy to do in any website just think how many people you hear over a day saying they are overwhelmed with information and that's true we are overwhelmed with information we don't want to dig for information so if we go to a site where other people are telling us what's good or what's bad that's good enough 
And, and it's an amazing tool that any website could tap into this power. Yes. Okay, I hope you did like our tips today. Uh, you know, you have two tasks, two, two action items. Two action items? Yes. Get a book to read. Read a book. Yes. And go check your website to see how you could engage people and you see simple and very effective tool like just leaving a review. That's it. Read more books and see you next time. Do something on your website. <laughs> yeah. See you next see time. Bye-bye.